Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our firstly weekly video that we have regarding the unit of globalization in relation to our central question which is what are the causes of globalization? Now to outline the basically content of the video we're going to start off with an introduction and then we're going to move on to the goals of the lesson or the concept itself in relation to some key related and global concepts and then we're going to move on to the SOI, which is the Secretive of Inquiry. And lastly, we're going to move on to a brief summary. And in our lesson, we're going to think pair and chair a lot, especially when it has to come to uh, basically questions that has to be answered um, during the whole lesson. So we're going to start off with how has globalization affected the world? And what are the causes of globalization? How has globalization affected language generally? And how does globalization bring both opportunities and challenges to the whole basically world and in our lesson we're going to basically enforce a lot of key related and even global concepts that show how globalization refers to the interconnectedness and integration of economies cultures societies technologies even across the world it is a complex and multi-faced phenomenon that has significantly shaped the modern world and again, it shows how globalization has been facilitated by advances of communication, transportation, and even technology leading to the increased interdependence among a lot of nations. And now, once we're done with all the concepts, whether it be key related or global concept, we're going to mix them up together in one single statement, revealing actually the concept in the context of our lesson. Now, after formulating our own SOI, we're going to move on to the actual SOI, which is globalization has occurred due to a variety of processes that have changed the world, bringing both opportunities and challenges. And then we're going to talk about the positive and negative impacts on a lot of subjects, including communication, trade. Um, we're going to talk even about technology itself and a lot more. Now, whenever we think about cultural globalization, we think about cultural exchange and media and entertainment. So starting off with cultural exchange, people from different cultures interact even more frequently due to the increased travel and communication, leading to exchange of basically um, ideas, traditions, and even practices. However, whenever we talk about media and entertainment, we talk about basically forms of media that actually are shared globally, contributing to the spread of cultural uh, basically influences. Now moving on to social globalization. So whenever we think about social globalization, we think about two different points that are migration and transnational communities. So with migration, people move across borders for economic, political, and social reasons, leading to multicultural societies in many parts of the world. However, with transnational communities, uh, we can talk about basically the span of multiple countries due to, the, to, to basically migration and communication uh, technology. And now whenever we think about technology in regard to globalization, we think about communication and connectivity. Now the internet basically has revolutionized communication. It enabled instant communication across borders, allowing people to connect, share information, and even collaborate globally. And now moving on to informational exchange. Now the digital age has made information easily accessible to people around the world. And this has basically democratized knowledge making it possible for everyone to learn, research, and even stay informed on a global, basically, scale. Moving on to the last point, which is basically education. Now, with education, we had the online learning. And globalization has facilitated the rise of online learning platforms, making education available to a broader audience. People can join courses offered by universities and institutions from different countries without even needing to relocate. Lastly, to summarize our points, technology has significantly facilitated and shaped the processes actually of globalization. It has actually redefined to the way people communicate, work, learn, and interact on a global, basically, scale.